facing your mother, yeah. Playing today, we have Sonia and Sebastian and Carol and Cody. Um, thanks so much for being here, guys. Now, Sonia, Sebastian, you guys, you're quarantined together in the same house, right? Yep. Yes, we are. How has it been, Sonia, being quarantined with your son? I absolutely love it. <laughs> Sebastian, you don't look quite so pleased. <laughs> it's been a fun time. It certainly looks like a fun time. <laughs> you look like you're bursting with fun. So much. And Carol and Cody, you guys are in separate locations. Carol, where are you in the world right now? I'm in Henderson, Nevada. And Cody, where are you? Uh, I'm in Portland, Oregon. And Cody, you've, you've, you've put the fire on for us there. Thank you so much. It's warming all of our spirits. It is. I had to set the mood for you. <laughs> now, uh, Cody, do you think you and Carol stand a good chance of winning this today? Um, she didn't raise a loser, so I'm absolutely sure we are going to win today. Carol, do you agree with Cody's prediction? Oh, I totally agree. All right, well, here's how the game works. I'm going to ask you guys a series of questions that either the mums or the kids are going to quickly write down what they think the answer is. If your answers match, you get a point. It's as simple as that. Okay, the first question is for the kids. So do you think your mum has ever done any snooping in your room? So mums write your answers down. Let's go to Cody first. Cody, what do you think? Has Carol ever snooped through your bedroom? Uh, a 110%. I know she has snooped through my bedroom. He's gone 110%. Yes, Carol, reveal your answer. Yes, she absolutely has snooped through your room. So that's a point for you guys. Let's go to Sebastian. Sebastian, what do you think? Has Sonia, your mother, ever snooped through your bedroom? Definitely, but she doesn't know where I would hide anything, so I'm fine. Well, that certainly gave us more to think about than I think you ever needed to share. A simple yes would have done, Sebastian. Now we're worried about what you're keeping. Sonia, is he right? Have you, have you gone through Sebastian's room? Yes. Now, Sebastian, is Sebastian right, Sonia? Do you know where he keeps all of his stuff? Have you ever found anything, you know, mysterious? Well, uh, recently he came back home from Austin and I was going through his bag. The following day he leaves back to Austin to collect some more things. So I'm going through his bags and all of a sudden I find some things and they were very questionable. I, my heart was racing. I found a paddle, bunny ears and some shorts with the tail and I don't know, my mind was just racing with crazy thoughts. So what I did was I put everything back inside the bag and just left everything as it was. And I stepped out of the room and oh my God, I'm like thinking, what is Sebastian up to? Sebastian, did you have any idea that your mother had found these things in your bag? No, I assumed she would let me unpack my own things. But hang on, talk us through what did you have in the bag, Sebastian? What was it? <laughs> According to my mom, it was a paddle, bunny <laughs> ears, and shorts with a bunny tail. And um, when you say according to your mom, are you saying that she was false in that, or is that what she found in your bag? That's definitely what she found. All right, well, well done. If it's any consolation, Sebastian, for that incredible moment of embarrassment, the good thing is you've both won a point, which I'm sure makes it all worth it. <laughs> all right, let's go to this next question. This is also for the kids. Do you think your mum has ever hidden any previous jobs from you? So mothers, I want you to write down your answers. So let's go, let's go back to Sebastian first. Sebastian, what is your answer? Do you think Sonia has ever hidden a job from you? Well, we're really open with each other usually. So I'm gonna go with no. He thinks no, Sonia, would that be right? That would be no, well done, well done. All right, so I think we've heard enough hidden things from you two anyway. Uh, 
All right, let's go to Carol and Cody. Cody, do you think your mother has ever hidden a job from you? No, I really don't think so. I think she's told me pretty much everything, but I'd be super surprised if she hid a job from me. Let's find out. Carol, have you ever hidden a job from Cody? Oh, snap. What? Do you want to do you want to enlighten us on this, Carol? What job have you hidden from Cody? Well, um in my 20s, I was a lingerie model. <laughs> no. No. No you weren't. No. No. <laughs> Cody, I promise you it's true. We actually that, have a photo. Is. We have a photo here to prove it. Look at that. There is Carol as a lingerie model in her 20s. <laughs> The hair hasn't changed. Hey, the hair's <laughs> Cody, you can probably turn that fire off now. I imagine it's getting hot enough yeah. in your room as it is. <laughs> so that's a point for Sebastian and Sonia and uh, not a point for Carol and Cody. All right, it's the final question and this one is for the mums, okay? So do you think your child has ever taken anything from you? Okay, so Cody and Sebastian write this down. What do we think? Let's go to Carol first. Carol, do you think Cody has ever taken anything from you? Uh, I would say no. Gone with no. Cody? No is absolutely right. Well done, guys. Sonia, what do you think? Has Sebastian ever taken anything from you without you knowing? I would say no. I don't think so. Sonia thinks no. Sebastian, what's the answer? It's a yes. Look at Sonia's face. Sebastian, what is it? What did you take from your from your mother that you felt you couldn't share? Well, first off, I want to say, please don't kick me out of the house. Um, <laughs> so basically, when I was 11 years old, you were cooking and you happened to take off your wedding ring. And I also happened to play with it. So I took it off the kitchen counter and I happened to lose it. And when you were done cooking, you couldn't find it. And you went through the trash. You had dad open up the pipes to the sink to see if you dropped it in there. And then eventually you had dad buy a new one. And I just kind of sat there through the whole thing, acting like I didn't know what happened, but I'm the one who lost it. <gasps> Sonia, how do you feel? Oh my God, I went through trash again. So for so many days just looking for it. Sebastian, how could you hide such a thing from your mother? I guess I'm not as good at hiding things as I thought. <laughs> up in my room. Well, look, Sebastian, given that you're in the same house as your mother right now, I think this you should go and find go and find her right now and give her a give her a hug to uh, to, <sighs> to pray for forgiveness in this. I think you two have got a lot to talk about. Yeah, Did you have any that. idea, Sonia, that Sebastian had <laughs> taken it? You. I'm How sorry. You? <laughs> well, look, you've learned a lot about each other. Uh, and unfortunately, you've probably got plenty of time to sort it all out. Thank you so much for playing. Thanks for being such good sports. Stay safe out there, everybody. We'll be right back after this. Mm -hmm. 